So you're free to play and you're wondering, is it worth wishing for Arlecchino? Well, we're about to talk about it. Firstly, we talk about whether or not Arlecchino is going to be strong and what role she has on the team. Secondly, we got her artifact set and we are going to be talking about why it is important. Thirdly, we're going to talk about whether Arlecchino's bond of life actually nerfs her. And lastly, we are going to talk about current characters or character that are similar. The first thing is first. Arlecchino is definitely going to be your on-field TPM. So that means that she is going to hog most of the time on your team. And this also means that she will require some heavy invest to get the most out of her kit. Good thing is that no matter what kind of build you got, she is going to be pretty good anyway. Since she is pyro, that means that reactions like vaporize, melt are so easily and readily available that you could just do it with ease, making it cemented. She's going to be pretty good and rivaling that of Utah, which by the way is one of the pyro infusing characters that focuses on charge attack. So it's sort of similar to the new Arlecchino. Though Arlecchino is going to be utilizing her entire kit to really deliver on her damage output using skill, charge attack, alt, normal attacks. So it's definitely uses a lot of time on the field because of that as well so i definitely think that she's going to be a pretty strong contender for her being one of the stronger pyro dps that we have in the game now for her artifact i think that the bond of life mechanic within her kit the artifact itself work a little too well that it would most definitely be worth investing a bunch of your resources in this domain to get a good enough artifact set for her to you though the major downside to this is that the other artifact set that's within this domain is also going to hinder your chances of getting a full kit pretty quickly especially since there aren't too many good qualifying individuals to fully utilize the new burn set at well yet especially since burning is you know not the greatest thing of all time now for her artifacts, we talked about it previously, but she is going to be really easy to build, like most of your main DPS character, using attack sand, crit map, pyro damage bonus goblet, although doesn't necessarily mean that you should use pyro damage bonus goblet, you could use attack percentage. Why I think that is because in her talents, you get a pyro damage bonus already. I'm not sure how much you get, but depending on how much it is, you might not need a pyro damage goblet, which is pretty nice. At least your off base should be readily available in case you ever need it, and if you wish to put it on your Arlecchino. Other than that, the substats should be one of your main focus as well. Crit should be the number one, recharge, attack percentage, EM, anything else is pretty much a waste, so you could pretty much ignore them. Now, we're going to talk about the bond of life mechanic. This mechanic isn't new, We've seen it already within enemies, we've seen it already within weapons, and let's just talk about how it affected us in the spiral a bit. So, whenever enemies inflict you with the Bond of Life mechanic, it makes it hard for you to heal until you cleanse it. Every time you receive a Bond of Life from enemies, it stacks on top of your max HP. And the more Bond of Life you have on Arlecchino, the more, the more damage that you are going to be dealing. Now also, your Bond of Life decreases over time on Arlecchino meaning that you'll need to keep the bond of life refreshed as much as possible to deal the most amount of damage. That'll be easy though, thanks to her elemental skill. This also means that you can't heal during this period. Healers might diminish the bond of life that you get. Fear not though, if you use Arlecchino's burst, you'll not only heal your Arlecchino, but also you reset the cooldown for your elemental skill. Pretty neat trick, I might say. So if anything, the Bond of Life mechanic is simply a gimp for your Arlecchino, and it won't make you struggle all that much. And it's sort of nice to have something to increase your damage in this way. That being said, she's probably a little bit fragile, so you may need a shield to, you know, prove some usefulness into this team. Lastly, the only character that I can think of that has some sort of similarity to Arlecchino is Hu Tao. Just without the bond of life being a factor, Tao just relies on her max HP instead. Doesn't have a bond of life mechanic, just lowers the max HP and then she does more damage, right? Not only that, but she also has a pyro infusion with her elemental skill. So it makes it very comparable, especially since they're both pyro, both of them are pole arms, and we have a little bit of like a weird thing with the HP, right? Uh, obviously we have other pyro 
hold arm characters like Xiangling. Xiangling is very, very, very powerful. But I don't think it's quite the same as Hu Tao because no power infusion. You could say, oh, well, I'm using Bennett and Bennett gives me the power infusion. Okay, so pretty much everyone has a pyro infusion, if that's the case. But no, I'm, I'm talking about the specific character, right? Now we have another pyro polearm user, you know, Toma, but he's more of a shielder and, you know, does damage occasionally. In any case, uh, would I say she's worth the wishing for? Yeah, 100%, definitely. Looks pretty awesome. She has cool new mechanics and makes the game feel fresh. And at the end of the day, it's personal preference whether you end up liking the character or not. I think I'm a little biased because I'm trying to get a full Harbinger team on my free to play account. And that day is nearing ever so slowly, but it is coming soon. I have Tartaglia, I've got Wander. Now I'm going to have hopefully Arlecchino joining my roster. And then the fourth one could be Capitano. You know what I mean? Just like a really quick Capitano. And then I'm done. You know, I got a full Harbinger team. Anyways, that is all. Like the video, subscribe to the channel to stay informed on all things Genshin related and more, you know, some more stuff in between. 